Hey guys, Trigger Auto here. Got the uh, 69 GTO frame. We've been working on it and working on it and working on it. We've been uh, metal working and uh, yeah, we've been going pretty crazy on it. So, show you guys what we got. Uh, if you haven't seen the other video about the mini tubs, you guys are gonna wanna check that out. And uh, so what we got going on here is uh, basically we did a mini tub job. And uh, so I'm in the process right now of grinding all the welds down. So just maybe show you the side that's a little more finished. And once again, if you haven't uh, seen yet a video, watch it because I show like uh, me in the process of doing it. So this one's a little more cleaned up and we're probably going to box the back end too. The back is really weak. And, uh, you know, this frame, before we did the mini tub job, you know, we could lift the corner of the frame there, either side, and it would just like mush out, like just flex. The whole frame is just like super thin and bad. And like this area here where they attach the back of the frame to, the kind of straight frame rail, like right in this section here where it goes in a curve. The factory welds were like so bad and it was like super flex in there. And uh, so the more that I put plate and beef it up, then the, the flex just kept transferring down and down and down. And then eventually when, when we did the whole boxing, because we boxed all the sides in and stuff. And after we did all that, it's like a Lamborghini style, so you can lift the back and the whole thing lifts up at once. There's no flex. The whole frame is uh, solid and you see the factory boxes it in the front, but nothing on the sides, nothing on the back. And uh, you can see like how thin and cheese ball it is in the back. Like it's like, it's just a joke, man. You can hit it with a hammer and it just bends easy. and. You know, there's still flex to the frame. Like, you know, if I go and stand on it and I bounce, you get a little bit of movement, but that's kind of good. Cause you know, if it's too rigid, then it wants to crack. But yeah, looking good. And the customer's totally happy with it. So I'll go over some details here, what I did. So once again, if you go look at the other videos, this area in here, is probably the weakest part of the frame. It's real thin and it's like stepped and it's weird. Like this frame is weird. And so everywhere that I welded, I connected all the, the metal together. Like when I welded here, I connected it into this plate and I connected it all into this top plate that I put. I connected it all into here, all up there and everywhere. Even under here where it was all ugly at that joint, I welded it up first underneath, cleaned it up and then welded plates on top. And then we plated the, the inside there at a box. And uh, so when we took the body off, these uh, big holes here where I got the white marking is, uh, they were rusty, those mounts. So the mounts were like falling through. You should see if I can find it. Here's one of the ugly guys that came out of there. So you can see like, she's really nasty and rusty. And, uh, so it was all chewed up there and it's almost falling right through. So I cut that out, clean it up a bit. And I've got these guys that I've cut out and I'm gonna clean them up. So this is the thickness of the uh, plate. And it's quite a bit thicker than the frame. And basically now for these guys, I'm gonna clean these up and uh, then I'll drill my hole. It's gotta be a certain size hole for the body mount to fit in. And then I'll weld it up. So that's what I'm doing there. And uh, basically that hole is supposed to be like this. This is like a dummy plug. It's one of these guys. It's like the same same dimension as the uh, body mount. And see, I got a body mount here that's not so bad and it fits in there. And that's how I got to make this plate. So you can see how much rust it was. It almost fell right through, right? So I've cut the rust away and then, you know, gonna do with the plate. So that's what's going on there. And uh, yeah, so 
stuff. Well, sides all done and I was starting to grind. I forgot I wanted to make a video and show you guys before, you know, to show you the extent that's going on here before I uh, grind the welds down because you can't really tell, you know, it's, let's see, and we're, we're grinding the welds down to clean it up. And we're gonna paint it up and make this car crazy. There's the car right there. So, and the guy that owns this car, he's gonna get quite crazy with it. He's even talking now that we're, we've done all this. I, I told him, I says, man, you're probably good for a thousand horse now on this frame. He's like, well, maybe we'll just do that. I said, yeah, that would be fine. So, we'll see. It's gonna be a project to follow, boys. Real 69 GTO. And uh, we've been doing body work on this guy for a long time. We've been doing frame work on this guy for a long time. And uh, like basically, I should show you guys some of the car. This car was like really, 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 really rough. Like the windshields, this whole back, we had, this was all new. We had to make this fit. This, most of this we've created this uh, windshield uh, frame because uh, you couldn't even fit it in. It would fall right through rust. That's how bad it was, even the front. Front was all rusted. The whole, like, he's, we've made a lot of the pieces, brand new dash piece, and we've got to finish off some stuff in there. All brand new front end parts, and uh, we've done block sanding and guide coat on the body. Just while we were, because this was the majority of the problem with the car, the outside body. It was just so like rough, rough shape, right? So we've done weeks. Weeks and weeks and weeks of bodywork on this guy. So it's, we've straightened it out quite a bit. And you can see the uh, floor pans are just kind of sitting there because we're going to mini tub the inside. There'll be more videos to come with that. It's a new trunk. I remember when we first seen this car, you'd lift the trunk up and the hinges would try to rip right out because it was so rusty inside. Nothing was attached to nothing. So yeah, we're going to do the floor. Mini tubs. I'm gonna do that with the body on the car. And uh, so we try to keep things straight and you know, things don't move too much on us. So yeah, guys, big project. I know I, I try to watch these uh, 69 GTO videos out there and there's none on it. So we're gonna, we're gonna put a whole bunch out there. So yeah. So yeah, like I said again, if you haven't seen the other videos, check it out because we got some pretty cool like using the plasma cutter to cut all the metal and you know just save huge time and, uh, and and all that. So oh yeah, some other things that I want to do is uh, this bar that's laying down here. That bar is going to go across to kind of tie it off and make it really strong. Like I said, we're gonna end up plating the back too because that's pretty cheeseball. And I also wanna put some kind of bars going from here connecting to the uh, control arms. Cause that area there was really, really cheesy from factory. Like basically from here, from this bend, all the way up to here is like a really weird spot. That super thin part of that frame. And uh, once again, if you haven't watched the other videos, we put plate on the inside, plate on the outside, and more plate, and more plate on the inside of the outside. So we've got three layers of plate. So basically, to make it simple, like we've cut a piece of the frame out, which was really tinny and thin, and we welded in plates inside, like plate, not tin, and welded plates on the outside and then welded more plates on the outside welded plates here welded plates there boxed in with plates and you can kind of see there where i haven't smoothed out the welds yet so i'll show you these welds are pretty sweet so some pretty thick killer welds going on here and uh, thick plate. 
So yeah, and here's the welder I've been using. This welder, well, it's not pretend right now, but this welder is really cool. You just tell it what you're doing and it does it all automatic. It's got like a big screen on there and it does everything. It does aluminum and everything. So pretty good. So yeah, boys, like and subscribe and, uh, and you'll get to see this whole build. I should show you the iconic front end. Brand new GTO, brand new hood, brand new front pieces, and uh, yeah. All right, boys, have a good day.